All right, guys, hope you're all doing well and hope you're all keeping safe. Tomorrow, we unlock the fourth manhunt, Cersei. And with them taken down, we can then move on to Fei Lao, the season's prime manhunt target. And by far the most exciting manhunt today. Probably the, the one bit of the story that I really want to kind of get into, uh, to be honest. Especially when you consider the history we have with her in the story. And if you've seen the data mind information, the story implications of what is likely to go down tomorrow when we take her on. So, it's Fei Lao. What are your expectations? Today I want to share mine, so drop a like down below and subscribe to stay up to date with all the videos and leave your own expectations in the comments down below. Alright guys, so we're only about 15 hours out as of me making this video until we face the Lao, uh, Fei Lao. And uh, before we talk about what might be happening, my expectations and what uh, we might expect to kind of happen next and just general story stuff, if there is anything coming next of course, I noticed that I've, I've never actually covered the Season 4 trailer here on the channel. And I think it's worth watching that trailer. Because it does give away a bit of information. It kind of it gives you a feel for what we can expect tomorrow. So let's do that first, and then we'll come back to it. Major Fei Lao Division. Activated at the same time as you. Hey! Just hold on! We're taking it back. Allied agent, now rogue. It's perfect. This will bring the division to its knees. And that's when we'll end them, once and for all. We were losing. We lost the trust of the people we were trying to protect. I'm not a traitor. I did what we were trained to do to make sure that our mission was maintained. If you choose not to honor that service, well, you're the one-off mission. Wow, so that trailer is really, really cool. And what I find, not odd, but now that we know what is coming. Basically, if you've seen the data mine stuff thing, you kind of know what to expect by the end of this mission. Um, I'm going to put spoilers in here right now, guys, just for any of you guys that sort of just really wants to go in blind and has been fortunate enough not to see any videos about what we should expect tomorrow. Spoiler warning here. But um, now we kind of know what's going to happen tomorrow with the uh, Fei Lao manhunt. Looking back on this trailer, uh, it kind of the trailer actually sets it up so that it feels like it's kind of the end, right? Uh, because it does the whole where we started with Fei Lao and, and where we currently are. So it kind of feels like it's the end f of that journey. But actually, I, I don't think it's going to be that way. So anyway, first off, uh, the, the trailer does confirm a few things. Uh, the Fei Lao Manhunt will take place at uh, Camp White Oak. Uh, and you can tell that by the scenery that's used in the trailer. Secondly, it appears we do catch up with Fei Lao at some point. We don't know if the actual cutscene used in this trailer will be included or not uh, in the game for the Season 4. But it does suggest that we make contact with Fei and there will likely be a moment where we have uh, dialogue with her rather than just, you know, as we've seen with a lot of the other manhunt uh, manhunts in the game, it's just a case of we go in there and we start fighting. I, I'd be surprised if that's the case with with this one. So probably my biggest expectation with the Fei Lao encounter is uh, some sort of cutscene, uh, probably before and afterwards, along with a really good fight with some new mechanics. I think that would be my expectation. One of my biggest critiques with the the manhunt so far is the repetitive mission types we've got with no real kind of innovation. Don't get me wrong, the prime targets are usually a lot better uh, with pre-existing missions that have been changed to kind of make it feel new and uh, more unique. The general manhunts have just been, you know, as you guys know, just been rogue agents with a name and the same locations we've been doing now for a year or more with no new mechanics or anything. It's just it's a very kind of cut and paste. At the very least, I expect the Fei Lao mission to be as different as all the other prime targets we've dispatched, like Bard and Schaefer, for example. So I'm actually looking forward to see what's different about the Camp White Oak setting this time around. Because, as I said, I, I do expect for them to make some changes here and there, and hopefully it'll feel new and fresh. There has to be some sort of in-game cutscene. Hopefully there's 
multiple, right? I, I, I hopefully there are multiple cutscenes, and I think this will just make the experience way better. There's no doubt in my mind this is something we are going to get, though. When you consider the trailer that we've looked at earlier for Season 4, I suspect that we're going to get something similar to what we got uh, with the Aaron Keener, uh mission at the end of Warlords of New York. And I, I just really hope the devs do it justice. I, I, I think they will, and I do anticipate us having multiple cutscenes, new mechanics, that sort of thing, and really setting us up for uh, Year 3 or the Division 3. And with that said, let's talk about the, uh, the story. So in terms of the story, well, as I said before, we already know what's going to happen. Um, if you're still watching this um, and you don't know what's going to happen, you probably do now, so there's no real point me doing the spoiler warning again, but I'll do it anyway just in case anyone's still watching. Uh, if you've managed to not see anything about the story, then honestly, fair play. Uh, you, you've probably just been completely blackout for this whole <laughs> stuff because multi you know it's been covered everywhere on YouTube forums, whatever. Now, I've talked about the, the data mine information before, and there's no reason why that information is not going to happen when you consider everything else that was data mined has come true to this point. Everything they've said, everything that was used in that one big data mine uh, piece of information on Reddit has come true. So the chances are what the, what they've said about the, the end of this season is true as well. So we know for sure that Fei Lao kills President Ellis and then frames us for this, turning the Black Tusk, all the other factions outside of the mission, and I suspect the Shade Network. Uh, against us, make it marking us rogue. That's what I suspect is going to happen. What I can also confirm is that Fei Lao gets away. Now, I'm pretty sure the data mined comms don't confirm this either way, because basically, from what I read on the data mine stuff, and I'm just going from memory here, but uh, they basically say that they're, they're not 100% sure because there's nothing to say, you know, target deceased or, or, or whatever. There's just nothing about it. Now, I don't want to. I don't want to give away too much because I actually don't know what's going to happen. But I do know that Fei Lao gets away, and I also know that we return to the base of operations. So, what I also know on top of that is based on the comms. It does suggest that summit is coming afterwards. The story does not end with Fei Lao, and so what I suspect is either we are getting four more seasons with the prime target in year three, season four being Fei Lao again, but this time we would take her down, or we are getting a new expansion, maybe in a new location, with four seasons following this to round off the Division 2. Or it's very possible, guys, although I think it's a, it's a huge long shot, it's very possible that the story sets itself up for a, a Division 3. And if that's the case, I don't expect an announcement anytime soon. What I would expect is for the devs to say, look, that's the end of the Division 2. We are making a Division 3, but it's not going to be for five years. That's Those are the three options. That's what I think it's going to be. Uh, what I believe is that it's probably going to be a new expansion with a new location and four seasons uh, kind of ending the, the Division franchise. That's what I believe is going to happen. I don't know for sure. I'm just going on data mined information and just general gut feeling. And usually my gut feeling turns out pretty good. So I'm fairly confident with that one. With all of that said, I do expect we might get a state of game this week or quite possibly next, confirming what is coming with year three. Like I said, I don't think the game will end with season four. Uh, if it does, then it's very clear the devs had a change of direction after they developed this season. Because, as I said, it will end setting the story up for more to come. What I hope is that Fei Lao gets away and we're marked as rogue. But through the story in year three, we realise that actually we are not the rogue agents. And actually the Shade Network are rogue. Okay, they're the, they're the bad guys. We've been the bad guys all along. We turn rogue, but we're actually then the good guys. And then we're fighting against a shade network, which we believed all along was the good guys, but actually they're not. They're the bad guys. That That's what I think is going to happen with the story. And I, I would quite like that, actually. It could mean us actually having our own kind of moral dilemma. And it also could mean that eventually we link up with Fei Lao rather than take her down. And we actually... Again, we kind of have that whole story kind of come round on itself uh, where we're actually working against the Shade Network, but we're working together again. 
that, that I think that would be a good way of dealing with the story, and I think that would be pretty cool, and I think a lot of people would be happy about that. Um, this may be too much for for a year free, to be honest. Um, especially as I do think there will be, I do think there will be a division free at some point in the future. Uh, if there is, it won't be anytime soon because I believe it will be next gen only, and I believe it should be next gen only. Um, so it will need to be in a number of years when the majority of people have moved from current to next gen. The reason uh, I want it to be next gen only, and I could probably make a video on this um, on its own, but just very quickly, it's just that we already know that the dev and the devs have said this before that the current hardware, the the current gen hardware, just cannot handle what the division was offering basically and there was a lot of stuff that the devs would like to implement but they just couldn't due to the you know the technical limitations of uh the current gen consoles i mean even just looking at what they've done recently with the 4k 60 fps on next gen and again i can make a whole video on that as well i don't have a next gen console but i've seen everyone talking about it and everyone on console are just so happy with these changes and they said that actually it just makes the experience 10 times better so if they are going to make a division free then i don't want it to be a cross kind of generation right i just want it to be next gen only that way they don't have to worry about the technical limitations from the current gen and they can just go all out on next generation and maybe maybe we could get a game similar to what we saw in the trailer for e3 on the division if anyone remembers that uh, back at new york where they kind of opened up the map and it was on the floor and that just so that whole trailer that to me was next generation and that's something i could foresee in the future I do think, though, that if we get a year free, and I say if, but I'm pretty sure we are, then I think it could end with us making a decision. A decision. Either we are agents of the Division, or we're rogue, with Fei Lao, and this is how the story will begin with the, uh, the Division free. So, that's just, I'm putting that out there, guys, that's what I think is going to happen. But, as I said at the start of the video, guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. What are your expectations? Where do you think the story is going? And how, how would you like the story to develop? What, do you, what would you like to see? Let me know in the comments down below. Would really appreciate it. But that's the end of the video, guys. As I said, Fela will be going live in about, I would say, about 15 hours or so. And I'm looking forward to getting involved and seeing what happens. And then hopefully we have a state of the game this week and we learn uh, the fate of this franchise. Thanks very much for watching. Until the next one, Epic Out.